Top story today, four-year-old Devante Boston was beaten so badly 17 years ago in Albion, it put him into a vegetative state for the rest of his life. He died in 2018, and a medical examiner found the cause of death was that beating. The man convicted of his beating is serving time for assault and recently pleaded guilty to manslaughter. Today, Kayla Green talked to the child's great aunt about what the family went through during this time. Kayla. Adam, the family says those 17 years when Devante was in a vegetative state were tough on them, but they say this isn't about them. It's about Devante and all the other kids who are victims of child abuse. His whole body was full of bruises from his head all the way to his toes, front, back, sides. Phyllis Winters remembers that sight from May 2002 like it was yesterday. It was the day she found out her great nephew, Devante Boston, had a serious brain injury. There was no helping him at all. Um, they just tried to make him as comfortable as possible. Devante lived, but he was never able to walk or talk again. It, it was 17 years that he suffered um, <clears throat> seizures. He suffered the pain. Um, he was always fed through the G-tube. He couldn't eat or drink. He couldn't sit up or by himself. He was always in the wheelchair or in his bed. Devante died in 2018. David Ricks is still in jail for the assault. Devante's mother was dating Ricks at the time. Last month, Ricks pleaded guilty to manslaughter for Devante's death. I guess basically a, the, the trust was broken in that we'll never understand why it all had to come down to this. Winters says she wants other people to get help if they think a child they know is being abused. We were hoping Devante would get in to kindergarten. That didn't happen. Because we knew once he got into the school system, we probably would get the right answers. But it was too late. There is a time or a place that you could get out and go get some help. Um, it's out there. All you have to do is make a phone call. Ricks will be sentenced in March, and the district attorney on the case says he will be asking for the maximum sentence. Kayla Green, News 8. What a tragedy. Kayla, thank you. Right now, Ricks is serving time in Attica and could serve up to 25 years minus time already served.